Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, it has been, it has been a minute since I've done any kind of vlog style video and, uh, I asked you guys on my community tab recently what kind of content you'd like to see from me and it seems like doing some more shop with me vlog style stuff is something you guys would like to see more of and I've really enjoyed filming these kinds of videos in the past. It's just been it's been a while, so I was planning on going out to go get myself a cup of coffee and I was like, you know what? While I'm out, why not take you guys with me and do a little drugstore beauty shopping because I've been wanting to see if I could find some Profusion stuff at my local Walmart. I have tons of coupons to CVS, so I thought maybe I could share some of my like tips and tricks with you guys on how to save mad cash money when you want to pick up beauty from the drugstore. And uh, I currently have no eye makeup on right now and nothing on my lips uh, because I'm planning on filming a palette bingo today. I put up a poll uh, asking you guys which palette I should use. I'm gonna let that be up for a little bit longer and then I'll come home and film that video. So I did like the rest of my makeup, but I'm gonna match my lips to whatever ends up happening on my eyes since that will be who the heck knows what. So anyway, I've got a coupon for a free latte from Dunkin' Donuts, gonna go cash in on that, and then I think we'll head on over to either Walmart or CVS. I don't know which first, but we'll figure it out. All right, so uh, my latte has been acquired and we are currently sitting in the parking lot of CVS. I have a 25% uh, off my purchase coupon. Just as an FYI, all these kinds of like percent off coupons from CVS, you can only use on regular price items. You can't use them on things that are on sale, but you can use them on things that are like extra bucks deals. So if it's like, you know, buy two L'Oreal products, get $5 extra bucks. If they are not like a percent off already, you can use those percent off coupons and you can layer those on top of manufacturer's coupons. So I honestly haven't looked at the flyer yet uh, for this week's sales, so we'll see what we discover when we get into the store. But I've got like a whole bunch of coupons in my CVS app, just as like a heads up, if you have CVS around you, I would make sure you get the app and link your extra care card because basically you start getting coupons tailored to stuff you buy. So if you buy makeup once, you're gonna start getting tons of makeup coupons. So I found being able to layer those all on top of the sales and deals for the week usually ends up with me getting a whole bunch of stuff for not a lot of money. So as far as like what I've got right now. I've got $4 off of 12 Maybelline, $4 off of 14 L'Oreal Paris. I've got 30% off Milani, which could be pretty cool. I've been wanting to try Milani's new bronzer if they do happen to have that. And then I have a generic $4 off my purchase of $15 of any eye, face, lip, or nail cosmetic product. So that's pretty exciting. And on that note, let's go see what we can actually find in the store. All right, sweet. So Milani, we've got buy two, get the third free. So with my 30% off coupon, and that might mean getting some sweet deals. I'll have to see what they have I might be interested in picking up. Like I know these two palettes, I both have had my eye on, although they are the full $20 here. At Walmart, you can get these for 15 bucks a piece. So I'll have to do the math to see if it's actually worth getting here versus waiting to get it at Walmart. So this is the product I really wanted to try, their new Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I've heard such good things about this. Now this guy is $10.99. 99 regular price, but if I get another product, I can get this and then get a third thing for free. Now the question is, which shade do I get? To be honest, shade one and shade two here look pretty much identical. I think I might go with shade two though, because I am a little bit more on the medium side of light medium. So Physicians Formula has some really good deals this week. It looks like if you spend $15 on any products, you get $10 extra bucks, which is pretty bananas. So, I mean, most products from Physicians Formula cost more than $15, especially at CVS, they overprice them. So uh, if you wanted to get butter bronzer, one of these new palettes, the butter highlights are great too, although those are not $15. Um, but yeah, you could get $10 extra bucks and then put it towards another purchase. So I just got this collection from Mark Anthony in PR recently and I really like it so far. I actually just used this um, mousse today in my hair and I feel like I've got quite a bit of volume. So I definitely still need to try things out some more to see what I think of them. I haven't had a chance to use everything yet, but uh, if you have really fine limp hair and you're looking for something not too crazy expensive, this line so far seems pretty promising. So it looks like Maybelline is also buy two of any select products and get $5 extra bucks. And I actually am thinking about picking up another one of these Lash Sensational mascaras. I haven't used this in 
ages and it used to be one of my absolute favorite mascaras so I kind of want to try it again. I also am thinking about picking up one of their old school concealers. This is the Master Conceal and this again I used to absolutely love. It's been a long time since I've used it and I feel like it's one of those hidden gems the drugstore nobody talks about so I think I might grab those two guys and uh, give them a whirl again. All right so pretty successful trip to CVS I would say. So now I think we'll head on over to Walmart and see what they got there. Again I'm really curious to see if I can find some profusion stuff because of the Walmart that's closest to me that I usually go to they don't carry profusion they actually have a really small cosmetic section in general but there is one a little bit farther away that's like a super walmart that i know has a pretty good beauty department so i figure while we have some time we can head on over there today and see what they got so on that note i'm gonna get to driving but i will see you in uh, your time literally like two seconds all right so i have arrived at walmart sitting in the parking lot baking in my car and uh hopefully they will have some new cool stuff i'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed that i will be able to find the profusion little glitter duos. I've heard like really good things about them and that they're supposed to be really good dupe for the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. So really would like to get my hands on those. Also Profusion is one of the nine brands I wanted to try in 2019. I've never actually tried anything from Profusion and they're very affordable and supposed to have some good stuff. So hopefully this Walmart will actually have a Profusion display. Also, I'm hoping I won't get yelled at for filming in there because I know Walmarts are a little bit weird. They have like cameras everywhere. So I'm gonna try to be sneaky with my phone. We'll see. No dice guys. I walked all around here, checked all, all the displays, did not see a single thing of profusion anywhere. We've got Revlon, Elf, Hard Candy, Wet n Wild, L'Oreal, Maybelline, but no profusion. Well, uh, that was a bit of an epic fail. This is this is what happens when you don't do your homework in advance and actually look things up and check to see whether or not a brand is carried at a store before you drive all the way out there. So to save myself from going on a wild goose chase, I went on the Profusion website and looked up what stores they're actually in because I know that they're carried at Target and Walmart, but not every single one has a Profusion display. Uh, and being in Connecticut, like we have a lot of things close together, but I feel like most retail stores don't carry a lot of anything. Like we have pretty small selections anywhere you go. So I looked it up and specifically looked up where Profusion's expanded collection is. It has like the eye sparklers and there is literally one store within a 20 mile radius of where I live that has it. So I don't have anything else to do for a little while. So I may just drive on over there and maybe pick up some Profusion stuff because why the heck not? I've been meaning to try it for a while now. So we're gonna uh, take two and go to a different Walmart and hopefully have a better, <laughs> have better luck there. Jackpot, found it, thankfully. I've got a pretty good selection here. Those eye sparklers, this is what I was talking about you guys. Super pumped about these. So these guys retail for $7. You get an eyeshadow crayon and a glitter topper. And these look beautiful. Very similar to the Stila Glitter and Glows. The packaging, everything. And uh, this shade right here especially reminds me so much of Kitten Karma. So now I just need to decide which of these I want to get because there are, what, six different color varieties and they all look beautiful. And then honestly, there are so many beautiful eyeshadow palettes here. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. I kind of want all of them, but obviously I need to exact some level of, you know, self-control. I'm thinking about picking up this guy. This is only $10. It's the Metallics palette. And the texture on these, just looking at them in the pan, it looks like they're gonna be insane. Like this would be so fun to pair with my Carity Mattes palette or any of my neutral matte palettes. So this guy might need to come home with me. But then like both of these guys look beautiful. This Paradise palette looks really cool. And then this festival palette I think is also new and colorful and a lot of fun. All right, so shopping trip, a success. I got what I wanted. And honestly, that was like the nicest Walmart beauty department I think I have ever been in. It was huge, it was well stocked. All the shelves and like the displays looked a lot newer. Definitely nicer than any of the Walmarts anywhere remotely near me. And it's funny because I feel like near in Connecticut means like within a 10 to 15 minute driving distance. I feel like I'm so spoiled living in such a small state that anyone who lives like out in the Midwest, if you have to drive like an hour and that's close, it's like 
a completely different world living here. Connecticut is like so much more claustrophobic than anywhere else in the country. But anyway, good shopping trip. I'm excited to show you guys what I picked up. So I'm gonna head home and then we can swatch some stuff and I can show you what I bought. Okay, so I am finally home. Dude, I just sat in like uh, 25 minutes of traffic because there was construction on the highway. Not exactly super fun, although I uh, did therefore have an excuse to basically just sing the Wicked soundtrack for an extra 20 minutes, so cannot complain about that. Anyway, now that we're here, I wanted to show you guys what I hauled, maybe swatch some things for you, and uh, show you what I will be testing out in the coming weeks. All right, so here is all of my loot from today's shopping trip. Let's start out with the bag from CVS. I had to uh, pick myself up a couple of bags of Cadbury mini eggs because I seriously can't resist. These things are so freaking delicious. So the thing I'm most excited about here is this silky matte bronzer. I got the shade 02 Sunkissed. I've heard nothing but great things about this bronzer. Uh, at CVS it retailed for $10.99, but obviously I was able to get it at a discounted price. I also picked up this Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. I've heard really good things about this as well, and I believe this is kind of like a setting powder slash a powder foundation, which is something I really enjoy. I got the shade Natural Light, which I hope will match me. It seems like it will be a decent skin color match. I guess we'll find out when I actually put it on. But I, I love powder foundations, so I'm always interested to try a pressed powder with a little bit of coverage. It's really nice for like light makeup days, days where I don't wanna to fuss too much, but just want my skin to look a little bit more polished so pretty excited to try this guy out and then I grabbed this guy which also said new on the display this is the make it last setting powder I've tried the make it last setting spray from Milani but I haven't tried the setting powder before uh, so I was curious to see how this would work on the under eye area because I feel like the pressed powder would be better for coverage all over the face and uh, I've been on kind of like a complexion kick lately I've been really liking to try new setting powders and concealers and whatnot so I thought I might give this guy a whirl see how it compares to the Maybelline one because that's what I've been really loving lately. So as far as my savings go, here is my receipt. So each of those products normally retailed for $10.99. They were buy two, get one free, and I had $5 extra bucks as well as a $4 off my purchase of 15 more of cosmetics. So I was able to get all three of them for a grand total of $13.80, which is not too shabby. If I had actually purchased them all at the full price, it would have been, what, $32.97, I believe? So basically more than 50% off on the three of those. So that's pretty baller. And then the last two products I picked up were from Maybelline. So these were not on sale, but if you purchase any two products from certain categories from Maybelline, you could get $5 extra bucks, which is what I did and then applied that towards the Milani products that I bought. So I decided to pick up a couple of old favorites that I haven't used in years. I've been toying with the idea of filming a video of like, rediscovering old drugstore favorite products. So these were like the first two things that came to my mind of stuff I used to really be into and haven't tried in a while. So I got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the original formula in Blackest Black. This was my holy grail mascara forever. And basically up until L'Oreal Lash Paradise came out, this was my jam. So it's been a hot minute since I used this. I definitely am excited to have it again. And then this guy, I feel like when I had it, I hadn't tried that many concealers. So I don't feel like I really appreciated at the time how good this was. This was something I used like pre-shape tape days, but I feel like this is a very full coverage crease-free concealer. It's got a light texture, but it's got a lot of pigment and I love that it's in a squeeze tube. It's a lot more hygienic than things with a doe foot applicator. So I'm, I'm excited to have this again. I really wanna test it out and see how it compares to the concealers I have on hand now because I have a feeling it's gonna be really, really good and a lot of people don't know about this. And then this is my receipt for my Maybelline purchases and you know, my candy that I got. So for the candy and those two Maybelline products, I spent $14.10 because I used my 25% off coupon. And then I also had $4 off of a $12 purchase on Maybelline. So not too shabby. I mean, let's be serious. The candy was like $4 by itself. So the two Maybelline products were basically 10 bucks, uh, which was again, essentially about half price. And then this I am so excited about. This is my Walmart bag where I got a whole bunch of goodies from Profusion. So let's take these guys out of the bag. 
Okay, so this is what I bought from Profusion and I am so excited about this stuff because it all looks amazing. I honestly stood there for like a solid 15 minutes trying to decide what I was gonna buy because I don't own anything from Profusion and everything looked super beautiful. Now, these were the products I initially really wanted to find because I heard they were supposed to be a great dupe for the Stila Glitter and Glows and I've been on the freaking hunt. I am basically kind of obsessed with glittery eyes makeup and I've tried most of the dupe options out there on the market. I actually did a whole blog post about all the ones I've tried so I can uh, throw that up in the cards or link it in the description box of this video if you guys want to check it out. But these are fairly new and I had heard promising things. This one right here I feel like looks very close to Kitten Karma so let's take it out of the packaging and give it a swatch. So just for comparison so you guys can see this is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma and here is the Profusion Sparkling Eye Topper in the shade Glitz and uh, the packaging is very very similar these colors are very very similar so let's do some side-by-side -side swatches all right that is beauteous look at that oh my goodness very creamy very very glittery and sparkly that is gorgeous holy freaking crow so let's take the Stila and just watch that next to it to see how they compare. So the Stila definitely is a little more liquidy. You can tell it has a little bit of a smoother texture to it, but I don't know. They both look pretty dang beautiful, not gonna lie. Dare I say the Profusion may even be more glittery than the Stila, and that's saying something. It really kind of depends how this guy hits the light, and the Stila will get more glittery as it dries down, but dang, that is the closest dupe I've ever found for that shade. I mean, look at those. They, on the eyes, I'm sure would look pretty much identical. I don't think you'd be able to actually like tell the difference. And then we also got a um, like cream eyeshadow pencil. This is in the shade bronze so this also comes with the set oh wow that is very very soft very pigmented it glides on really nicely so that you could i'm sure put down as a base and then put the glitter on top of it or just wear it all on its own but honestly for seven dollars for the two of those together that seems like such a steal to me. Alrighty, well that went even better than expected. That is just stunning. I'm very, very pleased with that purchase. And I did pick up a second version. I got the shade Twinkle as well. This uh, glitter in here reminds me a lot of the shade Diamond Dust from Stila, which I only have like a little mini of. It's kind of got silver and holographic glitters. And then the pencil side is the shade Opal, which looks like a pretty kind of light champagne. So I have a feeling this is something I could also get a ton of use out of. And I mean, really, seven bucks. You can't beat that. Then the other things I picked up were some eyeshadows because I've heard really good things about Profusion eyeshadows and it was tough trying to decide what palettes I wanted, but these were the ones that called to me the most. So first you have the Metallics palette here, which looks so colorful and gorgeous. I just have a feeling these textures are gonna be so pigmented and buttery just looking at the way that they appear in the pan. It's very promising. And uh, this guy was only $10. And then I also grabbed the Spectrum palette, which is all matte and colorful. So I thought that these could be really fun to pair together because there are obviously no mattes in here. And if you wanted some fun pops of color, you've got basically a nice little rainbow here to play with. So let's give a couple of these shades a swatch and see how they perform. The shade Nebula here looks really cool. Ooh, these feel wet, like a cream shadow to the touch holy pigmentation do you guys see that let's oh. wow so goes on a little more sheer than it feels but the shine wow that's beautiful this one kind of feels like a a shiny topper to me almost and how about this pink shade here called nimbus Yeah, so again, has a lot of sparkle and a lot of shine to it, but is not like crazy base pigmented. And then how about this shade Jade? Ooh, gotta love a good green. That one is a little bit more pigmented, has a little bit more of a sheen than a glitter finish to it. 
but it blends out really beautifully. So that's interesting. I feel like these are the kinds of shadows that are gonna perform really well over a glitter primer. Like if they have something to stick to, they probably are gonna build up really beautifully on top of themselves. So it's funny cause like I look at my fingers and they seem so much more vibrant than the way that they swatch. And I think part of it is just how easily this kind of formula sticks to dry skin. So I'm excited to play around with this and experiment with it and see how the actual formula works, but it seems like it's gonna be a pretty awesome palette for 10 bucks. So let's give this guy a swatch as well. I'm really curious about these mattes. This lime green is calling to me. Ooh, it feels very buttery, very smooth. I'm just gonna swatch this right here. Wow, that's like, <laughs> electric pigment right there. Purples are also kind of tough, so let's see what the purple looks like. A little patchy, but not bad. Maybe this like teal, ooh, that one feels really buttery too. Okay, yeah, there's some, there's some pigment there. I feel like these are probably gonna blend out nicely if you use them with a brush, but they're very neon, which is a lot of fun. Sometimes it's nice to have a really bright pop of color. I don't have a lot of palettes like this and this guy was only five bucks. So the total of all the Profusion stuff that I got was $30.76, which really isn't that bad for two eyeshadow palettes and two glitters and two eyeshadow crayons when you think about it. So yeah, definitely happy with this purchase. I've been wanting to try Profusion for quite a while now. It's one of those affordable brands I've heard a lot of good things about and so far this stuff seems promising. So I'll definitely have to do like a tutorial or something like that with these guys so we can show off their pretty fun color goodness. If that's something you would like to see, leave a comment and let me know. So I'm uh, not even gonna pretend right now. It is like five hours later because my camera battery died like literally the second after I finished the last sentence that you guys just heard. So I had to stop and charge my battery and then I had a meeting that lasted an extra hour longer than I was supposed to, which meant it was basically time for dinner by the time that it ended. So I had to cook and eat Then I was hanging out with my husband. And then before you know it, now it's 8.30 at night. I never actually filmed my palette bingo and uh here we are filming the outro to this video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed coming along, shopping with me, maybe picked up some helpful tips and tricks on how to save money on your drugstore purchases. I would love to do this more, shopping at some other places that are around me. If you guys would like that, definitely leave a comment down below, let me know, give this video a thumbs up, etc. Basically, just, just give me a heads up if this is a thing you'd like to see me do more of. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the new makeup that I picked up definitely will have to do a look for you guys so you can see it all in action also it looks like the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette is currently the front runner for palette bingo so odds are I'm probably not gonna film it tonight because this makeup is looking pretty worse for the wear because it's been on since you know nine o'clock this morning but if not today I'll definitely film it tomorrow and it will probably be up for you guys as my Saturday video anyway I guess I have some editing and some other stuff to do before I have to like get ready for bed but I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day thank you again so so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.